Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Um, as you know, we work for one of the largest and best home health agencies in our area. Uh, and we have a lot of problems recently and in the past with uh, call-ins because uh, mothers have problems uh, finding child care for their children. Um, and as a working person uh, with children, it is a challenge. As we all know, uh, this table, because we all have children, uh, we have all been faced with times when your child's daycare closes or your babysitter doesn't show up. Um, for example, uh, they'll call in and then you have to find alternate care and then sometimes you, it'll make you late or you just don't come because you don't have no one to watch your child. And of course, it's frowned upon us to bring our children to work. Uh, if the employee can't find a sitter, it is very stressful knowing they have uh, to work, work responsibilities and also responsibilities to their families. If the employee cannot find adequate child care on a short notice, um, they have no choice but to call in and be absent from work. Overall, it's not a good situation for an employee or an employer, uh, and I have a solution to this dilemma that could benefit the employee and the employer. This solution can be profitable for both sides. Um, first thing is that we have experienced this summer, one of our employees was unable to find childcare and she had to take a leave of absence. Um, this made it difficult for the current employees that have to pick up her patients and as the employer, uh, you may have to spend money hiring someone new, training, and so forth and so on. The negatives go on and on. This could happen at any time, and it happens a lot during the holidays because we work holidays and the daycares close. Uh, another problem is when the child has a runny nose or cough, they are sent home, therefore the child has no care. And again, the parent has to call in sick and care for the child. Uh, we can't keep the children that are seriously e ill, but maybe we can keep the children that have simple cold or simple problems that the mother can handle uh, on her own. Um, the second thing is, uh, my suggestion uh, would be to having child care on site. Uh, these are a few handouts that I had looked up on uh, studies that have been done on how profitable for the you know, a business and the employee, and how much happier everyone can be uh, in the uh, environment at work, not being stressed out about it. Uh, since we have many locations in one town, we could choose a central location for all the parents to drop off their children. We could have general area for children, and then have area for children that are ill or not feeling well. I found so many articles as if I have passed out uh, that show how parents gain from on-site daycare programs. They are reliable, safe, and convenient, and it's convenient care for the children. You may ask, what do employees get out of it? Usually happier employees and more productive employees. In a report by the National Conference of State Legislatures, employers uh, cite that on-site childcare issues are causing more problems than any other family related issue on the, in the workplace. I'm sorry, I meant uh, that the, they cite that there's problems with child care uh, related problems. With the increases in absenteeism and tardiness reported in nine out of 10 companies. With 8% of the company surveyed said that work days were at, cut short because of child care problems the child care benefits the employers who sponsor it by improving employee morale, <laughs> reducing turnover and absenteeism and increasing productivity. Uh, and also it usually just helps the bottom line. Uh, a cost benefit study conducted by Cynthia Ransom and Sandra Baroud at the National Bank in Pasadena, California showed the institutions on site with on-site daycare programs saved 138,000 to 232,000 in annual operations costs due to the reduction in both turnover and absenteeism. Other studies have also data that refutes some commonly held beliefs about employer-sponsored childcare. 
namely that is cost prohibitive and devalued by employees who don't receive the direct benefit from it. Um, further, the study found that a majority of workers would be willing to contribute to the cost of the employer-sponsored daycare, whether or not they use the benefits or not. Some studies were focused on off, often overlooked segment of American workers, which is the blue-collar workers. Many kinds of employers that have on-site child care are high-tech and healthcare industries and others with 24-hour workers, such as airline reservation companies. In this particular study, uh, were predominantly females with a college education earning, uh, without a college education earning 10 to $15 an hour. Company sizes vary from 300 to 640 employees. The results were striking and perhaps surprising. They found that a majority of workers were willing to pay to subsidize on-site daycare, whether or not they had young children. The biggest finding had nothing to do with wage or bill savings, but with some less quantifiable, which was human caring. Child care is an important consideration for working parents and parents that must use a child care center. The cost of this transportation and the stress of being separated from their children. By offering child care at work, the employer can attract high quality employees that might not be able to work for a company that does not offer this benefit. It can also assist with employee morale and retention as it shows the company supports the family bond between the child and the parent. The benefits are endless to name a, to name a few. The children and the parent have the comfort of knowing they are basically in the same place. The security of the child being cared for by employees of the same company that they work for. Transportation issues become less problematic. Scheduling also uh, because the employee and the child are basically in the same company. Um, another article states clearly it is beneficial to the comp company's bottom line. Employees report decreased parental anxiety, feeling happier at work, and feeling less stressed about balancing work and family. Another study shows how 90% of parents using full service on-site care uh, reported increased concentration and productivity at work. Um, next is if, if we do this, we would be so, it would be great things for our company. Uh, for example, on-site child care reduces stress, eliminates worry uh, to the parents and they, because they have reliable, acceptable and proximity close care. Today, many employers are stepping into this work life and having begun offering child care benefits to support the work-life balance of employees. Despite the budget crunches and space constraints that many companies face today, there are numerous options to meet the needs and budgets of employers, both large and small. Employers have found that these benefits can produce a win-win solution resulting in loyal, satisfied employees that improve an organization's overall productivity and the reputation in the market as well as providing long-term benefits to the overall community. As my superiors, I would like uh, to uh, get help in formulating a plan so we can present to our CEO. Uh, we can also include other members of our staff to formulate a plan that will include many points from different employees from upper management to maybe equipment drivers. Uh, this will ensure that our CEO uh, will get feedback from a variety of sources. Uh, we can also include the business part. Uh, some general numbers also include the federal government uh, does have uh, tax deductions for those who provide on-site child care. If we're all in agreement at this time, we can think about it and then we can reconvene in a week to start on our plan. Okay, that sounds good. We'll review the information you have given us. So we can come to a conclusion. All right. Sounds good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for coming to our meeting.